The people across our state and across the country continue to mourn former Governor Kathleen Blanco, who passed away yesterday after a battle with a rare form of eye cancer. NBC Local 33's Abby Rocha is here with a look at Blanco's trailblazing career. Way before the glass ceiling was a phrase, Kathleen Blanco was a pioneer serving 20 years of public office, the first woman to become governor of Louisiana. She let her emotions show. If a man had done that, that would have been a sign of strength. If a woman does that, that's a sign of weakness. This is one of many double standards Blanco faced as a woman in politics. The public, the press, uh, had a different uh, expectation because she was a woman. You know, the, the From her appearance to the way she carried herself, everything was different. I, I'd always worked for, for male politicians, and it was a bit of an adjustment to work for a woman um, who... Um, you know, it took her a little longer to uh, get going in the morning. In 1983, she was elected to the Louisiana House of Representatives and was one of only two women legislators at the Capitol. After serving as lieutenant governor, she would become the first woman elected as governor of Louisiana, serving during some of the state's most trying times. That women are judged more harshly. Uh, I look at how she was, I think, judged unfairly after Katrina because uh, she let her emotions show. Despite the criticism, she continued to exceed limits and fight for Louisiana. It, it took me a while to fully appreciate just what that double standard was and what it meant for her and how challenging it is for, for, for women in every uh, endeavor, but particularly in politics. Her chief deputy of staff reflects on a memorable moment shared with Blanco's young grandson about following in his grandmother's footsteps. She went through various occupations and he said, no, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. And she said, how about governor? How about governor of the state of Louisiana? And he said, grandma, that's a girl's job. Not realizing his grandmother would forever change history. She just was thoughtful and generous and kind. And I know that so many people are grateful that they knew Kathleen Blanco and sad that she has passed. Abby Rocha, NBC Local 33.